Hey guys, JD here. So today we're going to talk to you about low impedance uh, and that how, how to use that feature on one of our Klein multimeters. Um, right now, you see I have uh, my little test panel here. I've actually wired this outlet differently, so it's actually set up to simulate what a ghost voltage would be. Um, for those of you who, who have come across ghost voltage or haven't come across ghost voltage, um, you know, the easiest application or the way I could describe it to you is imagine you have a lamp and you want to plug it into an outlet. You plug it in, the lamp doesn't turn on. So your first step is to grab your multimeter, you put it into voltage mode, and you plug into your outlet. Now right now this meter is set up in high impedance mode. You just turn it to voltage, that's high impedance, that's kind of how most multimeters are. Um, you'll notice right now I'm reading approximately 109 volts out of that outlet. Now that's actually within specs and a regular lamp would probably run off of that. However, since this outlet we know to be wired differently, uh, if you were to plug in the lamp or the load it wouldn't turn on. So how would you troubleshoot that? Well, low impedance is kind of your way to do that. What it does is it actually simulates a load. There's a thermistor inside the meter. When you flip to this feature, you are actually drawing power now. And what you'll notice is out of that same outlet that was reading 109 volts, you'll realize now it's down to about a volt. So this is a good indication that that outlet is somehow wired wrong or not wired at all. Ghost voltage basically can be two wires like this running side by side where one wire has voltage on it and that voltage is actually induced into the second wire. So when you take your meter and hook it up and it's in high impedance, it'll just read that voltage thinking voltage is there. However, when you plug a load in, you actually won't get the load to turn on. So this is kind of a, a real basic version or a real basic application of why low impedance is important and how to use it.